welcome to the channel guys today we're going to install some fog lights <laughs> My boy just asked me to go around the block, as you can see. Uh, when we get home, I'm going to start installing some fog lights that I bought. Uh, they're anywhere between 150 Rand to 250 Rand, depending on how well your shopping goes. And then basically, I'll wire the daytime running lights to work with the car and put the fog lights on either its own switch or see what it is. I know I've got existing wiring that I can use for from my old spotlights to turn on the fog lights and then I'll take it from there. I'll show you guys the progress and you know how I went about it. So enjoy the video guys. The lights I will be installing is a fog light and a daytime running light. So I'll put that on a circuit where it turns on with the car if the ignition goes on and maybe get a daytime running light controller to turn it off when the turn signals goes on so i'm marking it up i'm using the rubber ends as a guide because that would be obvious from the eyes so i'm going 80 millimeters in and 200 millimeters for the outside light and inside light um, then I need to get a hole saw around about 65 millimeters. So we just added a cardboard because everything's going everywhere. Guys, so that's one side down. So I had to drill two small holes on the inside of the two big holes for the lights. Um, as you can see, that's not on the side, it's coming out of an awkward spot. So, yeah, I'm gonna silicone it up and then stick it and show you guys what it looks like. So I really don't like struggling, but that sucks. So I've just clamped these two lights. Tomorrow it should be dry and we should be able to start with the wiring soon. The moment of truth, and just press that button and I'll fill that up nicely with some proper black silicone and clean it up. Oh, solid. So just to give you guys an idea what it looks like. Then I'll wire the outer ring to a ignition wire that turns it on when I turn the car on for daytime running lights and I'll have a, a switch for the fog lights. I'll have all of them running together. To show you what I'm gonna do, I had to find the accessory wire and this white wire I've just opened a bit and tested according to the electrical diagram one of the accessory wires that comes from the starter i'm going to tap in here to just trigger the switch on a relay that takes the the power cables that feeds the dual battery system to power daytime running lights so i don't want a special button for the daytime running lights i want it to work when the accessory wire becomes live as soon as i touch the white wire I've got power. I'm going to just turn the car off. And I'm touching the accessory line. No power. 
so yeah that's a good confirmation i'm going to use that wire so the next part is to build the relay and get everything wired up this is the wiring for the daytime running lights i'm going to connect all of this up and on that side and take it through to the box under the passenger seat there's my wife thinking i'm a crazy guy I'm still working on a land rover okay so let me show you how I switched the relay with everything as it is. The car is currently off, so when I turn the ignition to the on position, you can see it switches. And then I've put a, in here a 10 amp fuse. I'll probably change it to a 5 amp, that's what I had. But the relay box is rated to 10 amps, which is more than enough 12 watts worth of power. The wiring goes against the chassis all the way um, I've got in the trunking and I've basically used cable ties to put everything down um, I went on the back side of the exhaust just to keep it away from the heat and then it goes up into the box under the seat as you can see it's a bit dark sorry about that and yeah so I'm happy with everything everything looks good and it works Basically, I've already connected the daytime running lights, but I also connected the fog light while I was under the car. And yeah, to give you an idea what I've done is I had an ABR bumper previously, and I used the wiring for the spotlights that I had on that bumper. So that, that wiring goes up against the radiator on the side there. It's, the, it's earthed on the body. And then I've got a relay sitting right here that's connected on the brights at the steering column so i'll change that switch to a switch going forward for now it's fine i know everything's working and the wiring is is good what i've also done is i've added the number plate holder and a bottle opener that my dad bought me a while ago and i connected a place to jump start the vehicle um, without opening the car and i'll show you what that wiring looks like Okay, so basically I made a, a old jumper lead that I had and removed the one side and added a Harrison plug. So that's up to, if I'm not mistaken, 200 amps. The wires aren't, but the wires are the right size for what's required here. So that's only for, in case of an emergency, I'll use that. And then that's it. I'm busy doing a drawing for a custom bash plate and I think that's probably the next video I'll show you guys okay guys to give you an idea what the vehicle looks like in driving mode that's the daytime running lights that's currently on um, unfortunately I haven't done the switch yet for turning the fog lights on separately but I'll do that in the near future so I think it looks great and there we've got lights so we've got the halo light as well as the normal lights and there you have all lights going so it's it's quite bright during the night and there you have it that's everything with the flickers on so yeah i don't know i think it looks good um please let me know in the comments what you guys think it's something different you don't see this every day so i like it Okay, so this is what you'll see if you see the quiet night. Looks quite nice. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.